Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another special episode of Feed Frank Friday. Tonight, I have a special guest with me. Joining me tonight is Sean Griffin from The Village of Evergreen Park from the South Side of Chicago. We've got a special South Side episode for you. We are going to do what is referred to as the Chicago handshake. There it is, right there. Lovely. Yeah, enjoy. A shot of Malort's, which I've never had. It's delicious. I feel like he's lying. And chase that down with a bottle of Old Style. Now, Old Style I have had before. I love it. It's one of my favorite of the cheap beers, if you will. Yeah, uh, 12 pack, six ninety nine. That's fantastic. This is a very Chicago beer. And when I lived in the Noi, which is what us residents call Illinois, right? All you. I honestly, I miss this to death. I'm, I'm very excited to drink another old style. We're gonna start our South Side episode of Feed Frank Friday. Right now. Here we are, we're getting ready for the Chicago Handshake. Now the first part of the Chicago Handshake is the... Malort. The Malort, okay. Uh, a Carl Jepson company from the Chicago. So here's a bottle Got of... The Chicago flag. Malort, okay. I keep calling it Malort, but Malort liquor. It's got the Chicago flag there. Now I know Sean went to look for this bottle before he came here and he went to Binnie's. Shout out to Binnie's, I miss Binnie's. Binnie's. Could not find this, asked where it was. We, we don't know if What's this is a shot? vodka, a gin, a whiskey. What What is Malort? It's Malort. So here we go. Now one of the first things we like to do on Feed Frank Friday is give it a smell. It doesn't smell terrible, it doesn't smell good. I don't smell much of anything. It's like an iced tea. <laughs> okay. It smells like an iced tea. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and... It doesn't have We have our, our shot of Malort here. Very excited about it. Oh, super excited. Can okay. we open this first because I might need a chaser. We're gonna pop open the old style too. This makes me very nervous that the yeah. South Side native wants to pop a chaser before we've even started. Yeah, I'm excited. No. Okay. <laughs> For you. Chicago Malort. handshake, Malort. Sean, cheers brother. Cheers. Back to that same old place. Would you like the chaser? What? <laughs> Would you like the chaser? Malort. It's, you can find that at Benny's Beverage Depot. What is that? The Chicago handshake. You can thank me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Frank, Frank, your thoughts. It doesn't go away. Ooh. Ah. Why? Why is it sitting like that on my tongue? It's like a like uh, sawdust and gasoline. Almost like a tequila taste. What? The tequila worms, like if you just ate like five, five of the worms. Sean, legit question. When does this leave? Does it go away soon? Malora. Ah. It does not go away. Let's take a look at this here. Now, this is another part of the Chicago handshake is old yeah. style. Now, old style, this is a solid lager. This is a very cheap beer in the Noi that you can get. Yeah. We're still calling it the Noi, right? Half of this bottle now, I still taste the Malorts. Oh, 100%. This is what you got when you went to a Cubs game. Mm -hmm. Any old man bar, old pizzerias, you can find this at Nick and Vito's. Shout out, Southside. Is it going away? No, still there. Oh, take a check. You're a Southside native. Of course. Malort is in your wheelhouse. <laughs> well, I've got a couple questions, okay? Yeah. Now, here's the deal. They're true or false questions. If you get it right, I'm gonna pour some Malorts into my glass. If you get it wrong. It, there's no S. If you get it wrong, I'm gonna pour some Malort 
into your glass. Okay. Feed me, Frank. First question, Malort, is Chicago born and bred and always has been? Well, I think the backstory was that his great-great-grandfather brought it, but did they distill it with the name before coming to Chicago? I'm gonna say true. False. Did start in Chicago, moved to Kentucky, to Florida, to Chicago, and is now distilled since 2018. Alright, second question. At one point, it was made with similar ingredients to gasoline. Ingredients. It has to be true because this will run a diesel truck. False. Come on. Primary ingredient is wormwood, which is very similar to what is used in absinthe, but without the psychedelic effects. Who will be the judge of that? Maybe that's why I think it tastes like uh, tequila worm. Ready for the third question? Yeah. How many questions are there? <laughs> it shares a name with everyone's favorite nuclear meltdown, Chernobyl. You know what? True. True. <laughs> so Malort means wormwood in Swedish. The Russian translation of the word is Chernobyl. Right around Chernobyl, they actually had fields of wormwood. This tastes like a nuclear meltdown. <laughs> Question number four. Carl Jepsen made Malort because it was the only spirit he could taste. We're going true across the board. The answer is, in fact, true. Carl Jepsen owned a cigar or smoke shop. His <laughs> tongue was so ravaged by tobacco that he created this. This was the only spirit he could actually taste. 10 milliliters. Sweet home, Chicago. Next question. Malort outsmarted prohibition. It's true. You're correct. During Prohibition, he, Carl did Jepsen, he, go to Kentucky? he labeled his liquor as medicinal. Oops. <laughs> Next question. The logo, take a look there, has three star, the Chicago flag. The three star was a misprint because the Chicago flag has four stars and they just decided to go with it. I'm gonna go with false. It is false. The Chicago flag received four stars in 1933. Malort predates 1933. All right, Sean, next question, you ready? Oh, yeah. Switzerland is ultimately responsible for the recipe. I'm gonna go with false here. You are correct. It's made in the style of Brask Braven. Easy to say. A Scandinavian term for distilled potatoes, grain, and wood. That makes a little bit of sense. Wood. It's fun because this is your game. Sweet home, Chicago. Malort switched to making hand sanitizer during the pandemic, which was in fact rejected by hospitals, clinics, even homeless shelters. False. You are correct. They made a hand sanitizer and you can still buy it to this day. You can put that. <laughs> you can let that hand go. Yeah. It's Fee Frank Friday. Sweet home, Chicago. Next question. It was once used to relieve menstrual cramps. True. You are right. <laughs> Women who used to work on the line in the distillery would yank bottles off of the line and drink it to relieve the menstrual cramps. It's gonna pour, and then look how much is left. Too much Malort says. <laughs> That's a disgusting amount. Sweet home, Chicago. All right, next question. The company sued a guy for making unauthorized Twitter and Facebook pages for the company. I'm gonna go with false. The answer is false. They actually hired the guy who made those <laughs> <Yes>! sites. <sites. laughs> Malort, hire us. You can drink this stuff for a job. Sweet home, Chicago. Next question. The original label slogan ended with a curse. Not an S. It's, no, it didn't end with an S. Oh, it has to be true. The answer is true. 
The slogan goes as follows. The first shot is hard to swallow. Persevere, make it past two shock glasses. And with the third, you could be ours forever. You have a lot. That's a lot. Next question. Malort makes a bourbon that had solid reviews. There is zero chance of that. In April of 2020, Malort released a bourbon, received stellar reviews. I'm jacked. Final question. You can now get Malort as an ice cream flavor. No. 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 Milwaukee does make a Malort ice cream. Mm. You're gonna enjoy this. <laughs> it's, <clears throat> the bitterness is uncanny. Ah, it's I don't not the front or the middle of the tongue. It's, it's the literally in back. the back. The and just the side. Back. Just the side. How it targets that, I don't know. That's and it. there it is. Chicago style handshake. Thank you very much. Oh, I appreciate you're welcome. It. You're welcome. Anytime. The question on everyone's mind do I recommend the Chicago handshake? This is awful. It's still on my tongue. I feel like it will remain on my tongue, yeah. Sean, for at least the next two to three months. So here's the deal is Malort doesn't have a slogan. So I wrote down a couple slogans I think might work and I want you to tell me, Sean, which of these works with Malort. Yeah, go. Malort, what soap washes its mouth out with? No. Malort, the champagne of pain. You can do worse. Malort, turning taste buds into taste foes for generations. You know better. Drink Malort. It's easier than telling people you have nothing to live for. <laughs> Malort. Tonight's the night you fight your dad. <laughs> I got one more, and then we're done. Malort. These pants aren't going to shit themselves. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this episode of Feed Frank Friday. Thank you, Sean, for the Chicago handshake. I yeah, greatly you're appreciate it. You're welcome. I brought a little Chicago to Michigan. You brought a lot of Chicago to Michigan. <laughs> yeah. Like, share, subscribe. F cubed, out. Chicago handshake. We're going to split it. Deuces. Deuces.